Hey there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope everything's going great for you so far this week. Today I'm going to share with you a super simple tip that I find that a lot of people don't know, especially those of you who are veterans to AutoCAD. You know who you are. You've been using AutoCAD for a long time. You keep doing things the old way when you can do things the new easy way. Save yourself some time. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Super simple. I have this polyline right here. Right, take a look at the screen. And I just want to remove one segment, maybe like this segment right here, for example. So how would you do it? All right, if you're an old veteran at AutoCAD, you might go into the dreaded p -edit command. <laughs> I go shutter. I'm so afraid of this command. The dreaded p -edit command. You might select the polyline, and then you might go ahead and edit vertex, and then you try to go to the vertex that you wanted to go to. Oh my gosh, next, 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 next. Okay, that's the right one. Okay, then we're gonna do a break, and then we're gonna go to the next vertex, and then we're gonna say go. <laughs> then it's gone. Oh my God, there's a lot of effort there. If you get paid by the hour, that's definitely the way you wanna do it, all right? There's a lot of effort. Undo that. Okay. Or, you can explode the polyline, and then you can remove that segment, but then you have to put the polyline back together again. So you have to go into the Pieta command, the dreaded Pieta command, and you have to join it. Ugh. Or you can just use the control key to remove that segment. Oh yeah, how easy is that? You can literally come in here, hold the control key down, pick the segment you wanna get rid of, and then hit the delete key. Okay, that's the easy way, but you would be amazed at how few people know that you can do that with a polyline. Did you know that? I hope you did. Okay, so there is, I will say, there is one caveat. You have to have one system variable, legacy control pick. It has to be set to zero or two, or that doesn't work. So if you try that and it doesn't work, you probably have a legacy control pick set to one. What, you ask, is legacy control pick? It's from the old days where we used to use, uh, we used to be able to use the control key to basically control whether or not we could select objects which were on top of each other. We have other ways of doing that now, much easier ways of doing that now. We can do a control W and we can, we can turn on cycling, okay? But in the old days, we didn't have a way of doing that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I set it to one and now I could like go into the move command and I have an arc on top of this circle over here. And if I wanted to pick the arc or the circle, it might be difficult or complicated for me to do, although I don't think it is. I can hold the control key down and I can easily pick either the arc or I can pick again and I can pick the circle. I can pick the arc, I can pick the circle, I can pick the arc, I can hit the circle, but you can see it cycle is on. Okay, that only works when you have that system variable called legacy control pick set to one. But we don't need that anymore. We have other ways of doing that. We can do a control W. We can turn on cycling down here at the uh, status bar. We don't need to do that anymore. So make sure that you have legacy control pick set to two. That's the best setting for it. If you do that, you can easily remove segments of polylines anytime you want to by using the control key. I can come up here and I can hold it down and I can say I want that one gone and that one gone. Hit the delete key, poof, it's gone. It's magic. That's easy. That's what I like. Easy, easy, easy. Magic. <laughs> all right, so don't work too hard. I'm all about not working too hard. All right, I'll see you back here in two more weeks.